wonderful people, it's your girl here, Kelster from youtube.com slash Kelster Makeup, and today I am doing a highly requested video, and I say highly, I mean highly requested video on how I edit my YouTube videos. This is actually an update from a video I've done a long time ago, way back when. I really wanted to update you guys and let you guys know how do you make and edit your YouTube videos. Being a YouTube beauty blogger, it's really hard, especially if you're trying to get into YouTube beauty blogging and you just don't know what to do and you're not familiar on, you know, the technology or editing software. It's, it's kind of limited, um, the information you can find on YouTube, uh, especially through beauty bloggers. Um, you can kind of find information on how to edit your videos from like techie people here on YouTube and that can get kind of overwhelming. So I'm gonna try to break it down into the basics for you guys. This video is gonna be a little bit long, so bear with me, but stay tuned to the very, very end because there's a lot of keen information on how to use this software that I'm talking about today and how to edit your YouTube videos if you're brand new to this. Um, software that I'm using is Femora by Wondershare and it's their brand new upgraded software for editing videos, which I am so happy to use because I had no idea the software was kind of out here. I kind of heard of Wondershare here and there before, but I am so like impressed and astounded by the software. This has become my number one main editing software that I use to edit my videos. If you've seen my last two or three videos, they have been edited with Demora and this video is gonna be edited with Femora, so that's awesome. What we kinda need as a beauty community and YouTubers is kinda like that instructional manual on how to edit and make videos if you've never done it before. So hopefully that can be this video and share it with your friends if you know someone who's gonna start out making YouTube videos or they're in a beauty community or they're just a YouTuber and they just wanna kinda know what they're doing and they have no, no, you know, nowhere to start from. Um, I also want to mention this software is only $40, I believe, currently, which is so inexpensive because I personally have spent probably like $400 on editing software before, and it's no joke. I mean, if you're brand new to this, where are you getting $400 from, or $200, or $300 from to just buy editing software? That's just the editing software. So to know that there's such a powerful program for only an inexpensive price like this is outstanding um so definitely stick to the video it's gonna be me kind of clicking and showing you how to edit your videos have any questions again leave that down below and i will answer as many as those as i possibly can and then i will do maybe in a second part two to this video if you want something more detailed just let me know thank you as always for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in a second all right guys let's go ahead and get started Okay, so I have Filmora open. This is what the open screen looks like, and it gives you four options here. The first two are deciding between what screen view you want to use to use the editing software in. So if you want to use full screen mode, which is right here, or if you want to use widescreen mode. Um, full screen mode is for like older desktops or old, older laptops. Um, primarily you want to use widescreen because it's just easier to use um, if you have like a widescreen laptop like most laptops are widescreen nowadays and most desktops are widescreen nowadays and then your next two options are easy mode and full feature mode I'm gonna be showing you all the features that I can today in full feature mode and then easy mode is for those who haven't used any editing software ever they're brand 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 spanking new to this I would choose to use easy mode for you uh, maybe it can kind of gear you up using full feature mode but full feature mode isn't that hard guys it just gives you more customizable options um okay so let's go ahead and click that to open it up all right so the screen is open and ready to go okay so the first thing you're gonna see is your media open up right here and I have some files already in here from the last video that I've edited and then you have your music tab which are instrumental music that you can add to your videos they have some really nice songs in here like this one I really like y'all may have noticed that from my last video and then you can add text to your videos which I'll be talking about a little bit later we have filters um, which are really really dope like this one love this for like a 
really nice intro. Oh, love that. And then you have like light effects. You also have your Instagram filters you can add to it. My favorite is Valencia because it makes everybody look good. And then you have your overlays, which are really cute and awesome light effects or effects you can add on top of the videos. You have your elements, which are animations. You can add like little falling leaves. That'd be good for like a fall theme tutorial or video. Cool little planes. This would be cool for like a back to school theme video. Little airplanes. Um, little badges. So I like this one. Say if I'm doing a video and I'm like approved. Or I'm like this product has been rejected. <laughs> um, and you have other ones that you can use for like Valentine's Day. Like this love theme one. I really like this heart one. So it's great for just an any video. You can always use some really cute hearts. And then you have transitions, which we'll go through a little bit later. But I'm going to show you my favorite transitions, which are the basic ones. I like this because it adds a really nice minimalistic um, kind of look to your videos. I don't like to go too fancy with my transitions because I find it can be a little bit distracting. Um, so I really like to use the basic nine, which come right in here. All right, so I'm going to go back to the media, and I'm going to open up a file that I've already been working on. So let's do that. All right, so I opened up a file or video I've already been working on. You can see right here. Let's just make this smaller. So this is part of a video. So I like to edit my videos in parts and then compile them later on to make a bigger video. Um, just because I find that easier for myself, but some of you may want to just edit your whole video out in like one, just one and done, but I like to edit in parts. I don't know. <laughs> okay, but I'm just going to show you some of the effects that I have on this video. For example, this was my intro to my last tutorial. So click this and you guys can kind of preview. And it shows I have this text effect here. And then I have a light effect. I have a flare effect, which you saw there, another flare effect, another light effect. Now you're not seeing it right here because this, this little part right here, I pre-edited like by itself. But this one, you can see here, see that flare effect? And you're also seeing the text as well. And that's the text right here. All right, so I'm going to show you how you can do that yourself. So I'm going to start off brand new. And I'm going to show you how you can do that yourself. Okay, so I'm going to add in this clip. And then I'm going to cut out all the parts of me adjusting the camera. So I started off posing, so I'm going to use this snippet tool right here. And I'm going to snip off and delete this beginning part. And it kind of bumps up the video to the beginning. So you can see me posing, posing, posing. And then I stop posing for a second because I get distracted. <laughs> so I'm going to snip out that part too. And then I'm going to scoot on forward. And for some reason I started adding body litter to myself. Pay no mind to that. <laughs> so... Oh, I started posing again. Awesome. That's what I want. Posing. And I'm going to pause right there. Snip it and delete this whole middle section. All right. So now we're going to use the zoom and zoom out feature to zoom myself in. And we're going to start off with transitions. So I'm going to transition between these two kind of files here that have been divided into two now. And I like Dissolve, but I'm going to show you all of the basic ones really quickly. So, for example, I'm going to use Cool Merge. You can see that. Pop that in there and show you how that looks. And that's the Cool Merge feature. It's pretty minimalistic. Okay, now I'm going to show you Dissolved. 
I really like Dissolve's my favorite one. And it just kind of merges them, kind of fades them into each other. I'm going to do Side Erase. I don't know if I have time to show you all of them. Okay, maybe I won't show them all. That one's cool too. But I think I'm going to stick to Flash because that one is just, I like the little flash in that one. So I'll show that one to you as well. And it flashes. Boom. Love that. So good. Okay. And the other ones are pretty simple as well. Okay. And then I'm going to show you how you can add text to it. So, sample. I want to add some text to my video. And I'm going to add it on top of my video. So, I'm going to show you what the text looks like. I went with the John and Julia or the hand stretch. Which looks like that. So you're going to double click it. And you can edit your text in there. So instead of that I'm going to say. Glowing skin. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to move that so it's centered when it pops up. And then I'm going to double click where it says our wedding and put Kelster, because that's the name of my channel. Actually, I'm going to put by Kelster. All right. Awesome. Love it. OK. And you can customize within that, like change the wording, change the font. But I'm going to keep it pretty basic today for you guys. Boom effect already in there bam that looks really cool okay so now I'm gonna do some cool work with filters um, as I said before they have all the Instagram filters in this so if you're one of those girls that all your Instagram photos are filtered up girl don't worry they have it for you um, I'm gonna use Valencia because I think that makes me look really pretty actually you know what I think I might use Sierra Yes, because I like the way it makes the edges of the video dark. So I'm going to add Sierra to the beginning of this. And you can just add that in. And it pops in another tab. You can see right there, right there, it matches the same kind of little icon for overlays. That kind of pops in there. Okay. So let's see how that all looks together. The really nice filter. Oh, that's really pretty. And then nice okay cool and we can also add some elements in there I like the hand-drawn ones because they're really motion elements so I'm gonna use I think I'm gonna use the Sun ones because these are cute so you can pop that in there and you can see the element icon is the same you can add multiple elements to your videos. So we're going to play that out. You can see the little suns. They're really simple. It's not a lot. And I love that they're they're really minimal, but they add a really cute effect to the video. Right? I love it. Okay. So maybe I'll actually go with a different one. Let's do spirals. No. Ooh, spark. That's cuter. Okay. Oh, I love that. That's cute. Okay. And now um, we have the text music. We need music, girl. Okay. So if I was voicing over this video um, for this particular tutorial, I would make the music as low as possible. Um, I'm going to show you how to add the music in. And as you can see here, guys, I'm just dragging and dropping everything. So you can add multiple music files, but I'm just going to add this one Oop, right here. Uh, there we go. Okay. And you can hear the music.
But if I was voicing over, like I said, I would make the music as low as possible, and I'll show you how to do that. You just double click your music, and you can adjust the volume. So now it's at 100, oops, 100, which is like that normal length, and you can make it up higher. You can make it as 200, 300, it gets high. And you can make it as low as possible, so I like to usually drag it down to like two or three for background music. Just to make sure that my voiceover or my voice is loud enough to hear over the music. So for example, if I had it at a three, see how low it is? You probably can't even hear it. But it's just low enough for good background music. So I'm going to put it back at a hundred. Okay. All right. And I think also what I'm going to do, I'm going to add another file in here. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to pause y'all for a second. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a split screen. So I'm going to do it before and after. And I'm going to pop that at the end. And when you put in your, your like split screen effect, it'll give you the option to add in and drop in from your media files the video that you want to add in. So for example, I think I want to go ahead and add in this one where I have no makeup on at all. So I'm just plain faced here and I'm going to drag this till I look there. There we go. And I'm going to add in the one where I have myself all done up and I look super nice. Let's see, maybe this one? Yeah, that's a good before and after, right? <laughs> okay, and play that out. And I'm going to mute both of these. mute them so there's no sound and I'm gonna hit OK and they're already added in there and I can make it longer if I want but I'm gonna think I'm gonna leave it at that and I might bring this file to the beginning of the video and now I'm gonna zoom in for you guys I'm gonna move down all my effects and I'm gonna do it like that so there we go now I have my before and after. And the video is all ready to go. So that's kind of like the basics of how to edit a video through Filmora. It's really simple and then all you have to do is just go ahead and export your file. You click this button right here. And you can choose what files you want to export it to. So you can choose your devices. If you want to put it on your phone, if your phone or your TV. So that's really cool. You can just upload it straight to YouTube, which is good. This feature is awesome if you have limited space in your computer and you can't really store a large um, video file like this one. You can put it on Facebook. Um, I think this is another social network. I'm not sure about this one. Also put it on a DVD, which is really cool. So yeah, guys, that is basically how you edit a beauty video using Femora. I hope this video was very informative and yeah. So that was the basics on how to edit with the new Femora, um, Femora editing software from Wondershare. Um, I hope it was informative and that you guys kind of grasped as much as I could show you in this video. Um, if you want a more detailed um, video on how to edit with this software, just let me know and I can do an updated video, which would be awesome. I can answer some more of those questions. You guys leave that down below. I hope this kind of basic how to edit, make YouTube videos, um, kind of did what it's supposed to do, which is teach it and you learn something new. Um, again, the information on how to download and buy the Femora editing software is down below in the description bar. Thanks so much for watching and have an awesome, wonderful day. Bye! Click to see more videos by me.